Yes. I'm joined today by Transportation Secretary Jamie Tesler, Energy and Environmental, um, Environmental Affairs Secretary Katie Theoherides, Highway Administrator Jonathan Gulliver, MBTA General Manager Steve Povtak, and MEMA Director Don Brantley to discuss our preparations for this week's storm. This is going to be a very big storm, probably one of the biggest we've experienced in the last few years. Conditions are expected to make travel nearly impossible, and we're urging everyone to the extent possible to stay home tonight and tomorrow. We'd also encourage people to order out tonight from your favorite restaurant, get the takeout, help them out. The storm's expected to move into our region late tonight and continue to impact Massachusetts throughout Saturday and Saturday night. The entire state is expected to get snow, with blizzard conditions expected in coastal areas, including the Cape, and also along the South Shore and the North Shore, and very significant snowfall across Greater Boston and into Central Mass. The rate of snowfall is expected to pick up significantly around 9 or 10 tomorrow morning, and the National Weather Service expects snowfall of between 2 and 4 inches per hour between 10 and 4 tomorrow. Two to four inches an hour is basically whiteout conditions. So we would especially urge anyone who doesn't have a really good reason to be out, not to be out and on the roads during that period of time. I've been in touch with Governors Lamont in Connecticut and Governor McKee in Rhode Island, and our state agencies are coordinating with our counterparts in those states as well. The high rate of snowfall tomorrow means that it will be especially challenging for cr crews to clear the roads, especially during that period in the middle of the day and toward the end of the day, which makes it especially important that people, and I'm going to say it again, to the fullest extent possible, stay off the roads so that the crews have the room that they need to do their work. Because two, two and four inches an hour for four or five or six hours is going to be an enormously challenging task on the interstates, and it's going to be an especially enormously challenging task on basically all of the other um, streets other than the interstates as well. Conditions on those roads, as a result, will be very hazardous, so people really ought to plan to stay off the roads tomorrow. Have I made myself clear on staying off the roads tomorrow? Um, and I would urge all of the folks in the media to deliver that message as frequently and as clearly as possible as well. We really don't want people to be on those roads do during that period for a number of reasons. We need to let the crews do their work. Because of the wind, it will be extremely hard to see anything at various points in time along the way. We don't want anybody to get hurt out there. We don't want people to get stuck. It's going to be very cold tomorrow and tomorrow night, and being stuck in a car is not where you want to be when it's this cold. We'll see well below zero wind chills in many parts of eastern Massachusetts, and getting stuck in weather like that is dangerous. So please stay off the roads. The MassDOT folks are implementing a tractor-trailer travel ban on all state highways starting tomorrow at 6 a.m. and continuing all day Saturday until midnight. Can't have trucks jackknifing and shutting down roads during conditions like this. Crews, clank, crews can't clear the snow when that happens, and anyone else out there is put at serious risk of getting stranded. Neighboring states are also planning similar trailer truck bans, and truck drivers should plan accordingly to stay off the roads. Again, everyone should stay off the road tomorrow unless it's an emergency or you have some very essential and absolute reason for being out. And if you do go out, be enormously careful, because in many respects, the roads in most areas will be a constant, constant replenishing, replowing, replenishing, replowing, which is going to make it unpredictable at times. And it would be critically important if you do have to go out and drive, that you be very careful and go slow. We've been preparing for this storm, obviously, for a few days. Uh, we've deployed approximately 40 members of the National Guard to perform rescues if needed. They're positioned in a few different locations, mostly around eastern Massachusetts, to help with both high water rescues and stranded drivers. They'll be doing that work alongside our colleagues with the 
state police and in some cases local police as well. This should hopefully not be necessary because everyone will be staying off the roads, but if we do have stranded drivers, the Guard has high-profile vehicles that are better equipped to get through the drifts to reach people. MassDOT has approximately 3,900 pieces of state and vendor equipment available for snow and ice operations, and that includes over 1,400 plow and spreader combos, 2,100 plows, and 460 front-end loaders. Secretary Tesler will talk a little more about our efforts to keep the roads clear along with um, his colleagues at the DOT and Jonathan Gulliver in a minute. The MBTA has also been preparing for this storm over the past several days. Many lines will be running reduced storm schedules for those who need to take essential trips, and many buses will likely be running on snow routes. The T will be deploying crews to clear snow across the system and plans to run snow trains to keep the tracks as clear as possible. If you have to travel on the T, you should definitely visit mbta.gov.com slash winter to check out for service alerts and schedules. General Manager Povtak will talk a little more about the T's preparation efforts in a moment. The storm's also going to bring high winds, including sustained winds of 40 to 50 miles an hour across eastern Massachusetts and with gusts in some cases of up to 70 miles an hour on the Cape and in other pockets. As a result, we do expect that this storm will cause power outages, especially along the coast. We're working closely with the utility companies and their staging workers in a variety of areas that they consider to be strategic and soft spots so that they will be able to move once the winds die down and the snow stops to be able to move pretty aggressively to start to deal with those outages. The most important thing I can say there is they will need the wind to die down, the snow to stop, and obviously some of the work that we're going to be doing to clear the roads um, to make it possible for them to get to where they need to get to actually do the work that they're going to do. And as a result, MEMA is also reaching out to communities, particularly on the Cape and in the coastal areas of southeastern Mass, to help coordinate regional shelters and warming centers for those who do lose power. In a moment, Don Brantley from, the, from MEMA will talk about those efforts, and Secretary Theo Herides will talk about the work we're doing with the utilities to respond to the power outages. In closing, once again, I'm going to repeat it, we're urging everyone to avoid traveling tomorrow, if at all possible. This kind of storm is nothing new for Massachusetts, but we have not had one like this for quite a while, and everybody needs to take it very seriously. Avoid going out if you can, and be sure to check up on your neighbors who may need help during the storm. The storm's expected to stop late Saturday night, but the roads on Sunday, as the cleanup will continue, will still be messy, especially in the eastern part of Massachusetts. So if you're going to go out on Sunday, I would urge you to be very careful for the same reasons we're urging everybody to be very careful on Saturday. And with that, I will turn it over to Secretary Tesler.